Hello students and welcome to the art class. So today we are going to learn how to draw a very very different looking and a very very lovely bird who is coming all the way from South America's Amazon rainforests. And the bird is a toucan bird. You can see her name is written on my sheet. It looks like a crow because it's black in color, but her beak or his beak, you can say, is as bright as the colors in a peacock or a parrot. And you are really, really going to enjoy making this bird. And I'm going to teach you how to do it with shapes. So let's get started. What are we going to do? First, let's draw an oval. You know, children, the toucan bird is very small, but her beak, the bill, is very big and it's got one of the longest bill or the beak in the world out of all the birds in comparison to the size of the body. So you can say if the body is this much, her bill, her beak is really, really long. Done? Now, let's add another oval, but that will not be a full oval. We are going to start from here. Now, Another oval, which is not a complete oval, this side of the big oval we are going to use. So you basically, you are drawing a curve line like this. Done? Now, let's make the beak. Now, for the beak or the bill, we are going to make a long triangle as long as possible so make sure that you have enough space and a little broad also like this center line let's make her eye with a circle and a semicircle inside now around the eye, it has a colorful ring. So another circle around the eye. Now her bill has a bit of red color children in front. So what are you going to do? You are going to make your arrow sign like this. Okay. Children, now we need to add another arrow shape over here. Because this beak, the beak of the bird is attached to this head portion like this. So once you do this, you are going to erase this line. Okay, done. Now it looks more real. Yes. Now, before we make the claws and before we make her tail, let's first make the branch on which our toucan is sitting. I have done parrot also with you. He was also sitting on a branch and now toucan is also sitting on a branch. So, trees are so important for our birds and our paper, our pencil, everything is coming from the tree. So, let's not waste paper and let's plant more trees. Now, how to make the claws? Very easy. We are just making C and double. Make a C and double. Take it a little below like this. Now, where is her tail? She needs to have a tail. So, from here you can start. From here, very two tiny lines can you see? And open it up. Like two slanting lines. Children, her tail is not very long. So try to keep it short. You can make slight curves or you can make it straight also. So this is our toucan bird. Now, there are some trees in the rainforest. 
and they have really very big leaves like this and after doing this we have to make these V shapes. Otherwise, if you can make, the way to make it is easily is zigzag. Out, in, out, in, out, in, V. So I've told you two ways of doing whichever way you find easier you can make with through that. I need to correct this a bit. You know rainforests are full of trees and bushes and shrubs because it rains a lot over there. So there are lots and lots of trees, lots of varieties of trees and you know rainforests give us a lot of oxygen. 20% of the oxygen is coming from there, you know. They are also called the lungs of earth. So again, this V-shaped design. These are all species of palm trees. Different, different palm trees. So let's keep making. Make lots and lots of leaves, as many as you would like to make. So this is that way, which I just told you. Zigzag, out and in. You can make whichever design or style you want to. Again, see some leaves showing up from the bottom like a mountain shape. You can say in easy way. These are curved mountains. Again, the vein, the center of the leaf and these triangles. So our lovely toucan bird in the rainforest is done for us. You may add flowers. There are a variety of flowers also. Or you may just draw this much. It's time to outline our toucan bird. Let's begin coloring. So we are going to begin from the top of the sheet. Let's color the leaves first. Using different shades of green. You all know shading also. I've taught you. Using light green. In these triangles. You can change the shade of green that you're using for the next leaf. Very neatly inside the lines. Again, these triangles we are going to do with a different green color. So, a different green color, this time a darker green. center vein also you can put some green like this to shade it similarly we are going to color all the leaves on the corners i'm adding some light green blending with the light green to give some shading center I've left some white because I feel that's giving a bit of highlight and the vein is showing properly you can add a bit of light green also like this so we've done shading also let's color all the leaves like this using the different shades of greens that you have since it rains a lot and there is good amount of sunlight, so all the trees have 
very rich green leaves. Now let's do some shading in these leaves also. Since they are light green in color, so I am picking up my yellow. And on the edges, I am doing some yellow color. You can see only on the edges and a bit in the center. So this way I am going to do for this leaf also yellow. If you do not want to do shading, you may leave it like this also. Edges. And a bit in the center too. Done. Now coming to other leaves. Pick up. Again pick up different green colors. And fill color in these leaves also. I've taken an olive green this time. You eat olives. You know what is olive green color? Or it's also called the mehendi green color. The color of the henna leaves. And since it's a dark green, taking a light green. And similarly, we are going to color all the leaves. Once you are done coloring all the leaves, let's begin coloring our toucan. Pick up a light green color for her beak or you may also use orange and red color. So since I feel that we already have a lot of uh, light greens and greens around, so let's use orange. So using orange. Very neatly fill color inside. Half orange and half with a dark yellow. If you do not have a dark yellow, you can do a light yellow. red for this part done now tukuns are white throated and yellow also so this is the throat of the bird we would not want to leave it white since we want to make her colorful so we are going to make the yellow throated token taken a neon yellow you may take a light yellow also and this oval the first one the small oval is going to be colored with this so very neatly Do not color inside the eyes. So let's first make an outline. So this we know that this is the area in which we have to color and not outside. And this ring that we made around the eye, you can do it green also. 
blue and take a darker shade of blue to do the eyeball. Like this and leaving a bit of white in the center. Now for the rest of the body and her feathers, we are taking black color. So you have to be very, very careful with your black color and especially when you do the background. So if you are doing the background, I would suggest that you do the background first and then do the black color. Or if you can carefully work, then you can do the black color first. So very carefully first do an outline. Oh, wait, I think I should do the blue first because if I will do the black first, then you all are going to do the black first. And then when you'll color your background, you'll spoil it. So I've picked up my blue color. And very neatly, we are going to do the background. Without coloring inside the leaves. In one direction what you can do again outline all the leaves and the token so that your color doesn't go inside you can turn your sheet Background coloring is optional. If you wish to do, you may. Otherwise, you can leave it white. So, we've outlined the beak also. Turn it again. Outline the tree trunk. So this way, I've outlined around everything and now very neatly, I'm coloring only inside the sky area. And being careful that I don't put my hand on the color. In one direction. Now blue is done. I've picked up my black and I'm coloring the token very, very neatly. Be careful. Put your hand on the colored areas. You can put a paper underneath your hand to protect your sheet color the tail also don't color the claws and the branch on which he's sitting obviously is going to be with a brown The tree, tree trunk with brown. Taken a light brown this time. Because her body is already a black color which is a dark color. Claws we are going to do with a gray or we can also do a blue. But since we have a lot of blue in the background I am not doing them blue. I am going to do them gray. You can do it blue. And our token is done.
so the coloring of our cute little friend toucan who came from the rainforest of amazon is done i hope you all enjoyed making this colorful and black colored bird with me who looks so attractive and cute see you all in the next art class bye bye